guys welcome back in today's video we're gonna get into my mini twist routine so first you're gonna want to get a non-water based moisturizer it is very important that is non-water based and you're going to see why in a second this is my own diy recipe that i will be posting very soon for you guys it is mango butter based next you're gonna want to use any scalp oil that will help with growth dandruff control scent all that good stuff this is one of my favorites by the innate life next this is completely optional if you're not into edges but edge control is always good lastly a rat tail comb for sectioning and edges so for this twist out i blew out my hair you guys which is why we're using a non-water based moisturizer versus a water based moisturizer we don't want our hair to revert we want that length you know what i mean so now I'm just sectioning off my hair. I really don't do it in any particular way, you guys. I kind of just put it down the middle and go with the flow. I like the really messy twist look, but if you're someone who likes more uniform twists, that's perfectly fine. You can totally do that. So now I'm just taking a little bit of my product and I'm applying it to my section, you guys. Really brush it through, really make sure it gets in there. I really, 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 really love mango butter, you guys, because it creates such a nice hold and shine without being too oily and i'm just twisting my hair up you guys making sure i go really tight towards my root and kind of slacken as i go lower then when i reach the bottom i give a little curl with some more product and that's pretty much it you guys that's how i get super chunky moisturized twists this is what the back looks like i really love how mango butter makes my blown out hair look i used to use shea butter a lot for my twist outs but i find that it was a lot heavier than i would have liked so mango butter is such a great alternative you guys i cannot say any more good things about it when i get to my edges i kind of just sweep my edges into the style so that it's more cohesive i don't really like you know brushing my edges out and doing it after it just doesn't really look right on my head shape personally but again do what you want you guys so next i just usually take some cold water and i just dip my ends into the water to create a really nice curl towards the end um sometimes when i blow out my hair it just looks super stubby and it doesn't really curl as well even when i put product there so this is just like an extra step if you want a nice curl After I'm done twisting you guys, I just go ahead and take that oil from the beginning and I put it throughout my scalp and it just leaves a really nice minty cooling feeling. I love it so much. And I just kind of run it through my twist for a little extra shine. And I just kind of want to show you guys how great mango butter is. My hair hasn't been twisted for even a couple minutes and it looks like this already. It's already starting to curl and take form. It is so bomb. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's my whole mini twist routine. Um, it's relatively new. I just started the blowout method, but I love it so much. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you'll try it. So I think I'm going to keep these guys in for about a week and some change this time. And during the week, I just do a bunch of cute little styles, you guys. And I wear lots of headscarves and you know add a little bit of jewelry and just really bling it up and make it cute keep an eye out for my everything butter recipe you guys it'll be dropping super duper soon it's been such a game changer for me for my hair and skin and i can't wait to share it with you guys thank you guys so so much for watching again don't forget to like say something nice and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one